Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to export the spreadsheet you need for Merch Titans Automation, and then also show you how to fill it out with data the proper way so that it can be used by the automation software to go about uploading your designs for you. So with that being said, you'll want to open up the Merch Titans Automation app when you download it. And when inside, when it's re, uh, opened up, you'll come down to the bottom here. It says export default XLSX layout. So you can come here and export the layout. Uh, you can save it wherever you like. As you can see, I already have it saved here. So once you export it, you want to go ahead and open that um, spreadsheet. Now here's the thing. If you don't have Microsoft Excel on your computer or some other editor, that's completely fine. You can go to Google Sheets, which is free and uh, just open this layout. So you can edit everything inside Google Sheets and then download as an XSLX file and then you can uh, use it with the automation software. All right, so now let's go ahead and set up the spreadsheet. So you go ahead and open that. And as you can see in column A, you have the image path. Column B, you have the title. Column C, you have the description. And column D, you have the tags. And uh, call me over here is the primary tag for T Public. And if you were just uploading to all of the major print on demand platforms, these five columns would be more than enough. And if you were uploading to Merch by Amazon, you can see over here you have the Merch by Amazon brand, bullet number one, bullet number two, and then the price. And then the uh, descriptions over here again in column C. Now, these are not absolute. You can change what columns. Um, correspond with the title, description, and tags for each platform. So if I were to pull that up and go over to uh, Merch by Amazon, you can see right here column B is the title, as you can see in the layout here. And this is just the default layout, but you have full freedom and full control over how you want to set up a spreadsheet. So there are no limits there. So you can see column C is the description, column F is the brand, as you can see right here. Column, um, or bolt number one is column G, bullet number two is column H, and the price column is um, I. But you can change that because you can come over to Printful, you can see title is B, description is C, and tags is, are D. But I could change that to F if I like, or whatever um, column I want them to be. So you have full control over how you do that. And with that being said, let's go ahead and fill the spreadsheet out with data. So of course you need some designs, and I have some simple birthday designs here that simply state Nobody is perfect, but if you were born in March 1949, you're very close. Uh, you can see I have 1954 here, 1959, 1964, and so forth. So we need the image path first. And I'll show you a little trick that really helps with getting that. So I'll open the folder here. I'll highlight, assuming you have this, uh, you know, sort by name and ascending, it'll sort everything in alphabetical order or if numbers in the proper order. So I'll select all my designs here. And what I did there is I clicked the first one, I held in shift, come down and click the last one. And it'll, it'll highlight everything. Now you want to hold in shift if you're on Windows, or I believe command if you're on Mac. And then right click and copy as path. So just like that, we got the image path for all those images. Now it doesn't matter if we had over 100 images in this folder, we could instantly copy the file path for all of them. And I'll paste that in here. So now you can see I have the image path. So the next step is to set up the title, and I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm not really going to keywords and all that, but I'll just keep it simple so, and show you a few tricks that will make it really easy for you to set up the spreadsheets yourself. So now i got my designs, or i got my file paths. They're linked to the designs in the proper folder, and I have some variables right here for these designs. As you can see, I'll move them over. So I have the year for each of the design, and I also have the year that, or the age that someone would be turning. Uh, in March of this year. So 1949, if you're born in 1949, you're turning 70 years old. So those are the two pieces of variables I want. I'm gonna go ahead and put those in Excel over here, just so that I can use them in some formulas. You can always control V to paste too, instead of right clicking. I'm gonna shrink these cells real quick, because we're not gonna use these ones. All right, so now I have the year that I'm uh, corresponding with each of these designs. 1949 here, you can see everything's lined up all the way down to 1999. If you were born in 1999 or March of 1999, uh, you would be turning 20 years old this year. 
So that's how I'm gonna base these designs. I got the variables I want, now I'm good to set up my data. So over here in the title column, I'm gonna set up a formula, it's equals, and you have two quotation marks. And then inside those quotation marks, I'm gonna do the title of the product. So for this particular design, I'm gonna go with, let's say the year, or let's say the age. So I did an and symbol, so another quotation and, then the cell that the data is in, another and, and then another quotation mark to close it out, which is 70 year old, birthday gift. So I'll keep that really simple. So now if I hit enter, you can see it grabs the uh, 70 from this column. And the reason that's so valuable, let's say you had 100 pieces of data you were filling out, 100 rows of data you're filling out, and they're all scaled, what you could do is just highlight, now that the formula is done, is highlight all those rows and hit control V, and you can see everything adjusts. So now I have 70 year old birthday gift, 65 year old birthday gift, 60, and so forth. And then the next step for the description, I wanna, I'll want i just put the title of the product in here, which states again, nobody is perfect, but if you were born in March 1949, you're very close. So let's try that. And that way we can get the March variable, or not March, but we can get the uh, year that they were born and the age. So if you were born March of Again, I'm gonna come over here, grab the year. Are very close. I say ideal birthday gift for anyone turning 70 years old. And again, this is the using the formula to get that. All right, so if I expand this uh, description column, you can see here, nobody is perfect, but you were born March 1949. You're very close. Ideal birthday gift for anyone turning seven years old. So now that I have that done, I can scroll down here, highlight the fields I want to copy the formula over or paste the formula over. And as you can see, each year is adjusted properly, and so is the age. So that really becomes a handy formula to use um, when you start doing mass scaling designs. Or anything like that it'll save you a ton of time and again I'm going to do it for the tax column here and there we go oh actually that was going to be the T public main tag so there we'll do that and then we'll do the tags now you see I messed that up too paste values there we go all right, so now tags. Again, I didn't do keyword research on this design, so I'll just throw some together. I want, obviously, the age they're turning, the year they're born, and the month. So let's go. K2 would be the age. Let me just scroll over so we can see what we're dealing with. And then L, or it'd be J2. And I forgot the end. So 70 in 1949, born, years old, birthday, gift, present, mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, etc. So you get the idea here. And I'm going to paste it over each column, and there we go. So now I have all the data I need to upload these particular designs to all major print on demand platforms. Uh, I didn't put in the Merch by Amazon data yet, but you get the idea of how to set the spreadsheet up. This is just to kind of show you how to set it up the proper way. And then in the, ne in the next video, we'll connect it to the Merch Titans Automation app. And I'll adjust the settings for different platforms and we'll show you uh, everything in action. And if you need help setting up your spreadsheets or anything like that, you can, fill out to, you can feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'm here to help. And I will be going over much more extensive videos in the near future and different strategies for spreadsheets and, of course, designs as well. And you'll have access to that. But for now, this is just a beginner-friendly video to show you how to set up your spreadsheet the right way to connect it to the automation app. So as you can see, if you come in here after, wherever we saved the spreadsheet to, um, you'd come in to choose an XSLX file. The layout, that's the one it is and then you're good to go. I mean, you'd adjust the setting at each of these platforms and then go ahead and start the app, put your license key in, 
and then the automation will take over for you. And we'll go over the uh, app settings in the next video. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.